what is going on, people. They said a third time to charm, so hopefully this works. I've been trying to do this review for you guys. It's been a while, so I want to make it perfect, but my camera's kind of messing up. Anyway, if you couldn't tell by the title, I am here for another review. It's been a while, but I was sent over a movie from the awesome people at RLJE Films, and I ended up sitting down, watching it, and now I'm here to review it for you guys. This movie actually comes out October 2nd on VOD, and pretty much I'm guessing where um, all your movies are sold. And let me just say, let me start off, this is more of a, it's a horror movie, but it's more of like the mind-bender, mind-thriller movies than your typical slasher. So, me, myself, I'm more of the slasher-slash-horror-comedy kind of guy. So this, sometimes these mind-benders and all this, kind of, I don't want to say it's hard for me to follow, but it's not my style of movie. But I must say that this the makeup effects in this and everything else, the practical effects were awesome. So let me get say that off the bat. But anyway, um, I'm going to probably horribly butcher these names, but I'm going to attempt to say them. Um, it's written and directed by Ken Evernall. It's also uh, written by Kem Ozuduru. That one was kind of easy enough. It stars uh, Clementine, hopefully I said that right, uh... Podenats also stars David uh, Sakurai and Alicia Capadog. Again, horrible with pronunciation, so I probably messed up every single one of those names, but I do try. And it stars a whole slew of other people. Anyway, it's pretty much revolving around this girl named Holly, who, let's just say, in the beginning of the movie, experiences something that your normal young girls should not experience. Well, this, in the beginning of the movie, kind of haunts her throughout the rest of the movie. It's 20 years later, and she's still kind of haunted by nightmares and stuff of what she saw and what happened to her as a young child. She's now married and all this stuff, but it's still haunting her, and, and her her whole mindset is, is pretty much screwed up. Well, she ends up running into an old friend who kind of just tells her, well, not kind of just tells her, pretty much tells her and, and brings her along to this one guy who is this, like, cult-like leader who has a lot of following that says he's, like, this guy that can read minds and get into people's minds and cure them of whatever ailments they have by just, you know... Type it, tapping into their, like, psyche and all this stuff. So, you know, she's skeptical and doesn't want to go at first. But she ends up going with her husband. And this guy has, like, like I said, it's a cult-like. So he has this, like, thing that he calls his family and all these, like, little children and all this stuff. Well, he has this whole big seminar. And as he's going through it, he's like, I had this premonition. There's this woman here who I just felt needed to join the family and he ends up running into Holly and touches her in this certain way and kind of brings back these memories but jogs them in a different way in a different sort so she kind of feels that he's doing something the husband not so much but towards as the movie progresses it just gets more I don't want to say psychedelic because that's kind of like drug induced but it's just it, it starts getting, you know, the nightmares become more real and the stuff starts, you know, abstracting and, and changing and what is reality, who knows what reality is at certain points because at one point he brings her into her own dream or whatever. It's, it's hard to explain and if I tried to break it down piece by piece by piece... Not only would I give away the whole plot line, but, you know, it, it, I'll probably mess it up as I go. So let's just say, by the end of the movie, her nightmares and, and dreams become more of a reality than they should have. I'll leave it at that. But what I do want to talk about that I was very impressed with this movie is the whole, like I said, makeup work, the practical effects. There was certain points in this, like I said, I'm more of a slasher slash comedy, a horror comedy kind of guy. So, you know, I've seen my fair share of 
horror movie so I know what to expect and you know when the music changes or or the scene kind of feels different you know something's gonna happen well this one definitely had all these different pops that I was like oh okay caught me off guard I got jumpy at certain points but the thing that I really dug was the makeup work there's a lot of blood there's a lot of like just crazy looking imagery and stuff I was very impressed with that and if you're into that you'll definitely be into this movie if you're into like I said the the mind st uh, again I'm not about to use that psychedelic word that's not what I'm looking for but if you're into the whole like nightmare turn reality like your your mind what is real and what's not but in like a horror type film definitely go ahead check this one out again it comes out October 2nd which I'll see if I can find links for I'm pretty sure it'll probably end up going into you know Walmart and Best Buy and stuff but then also like I said it comes out on VOD and on demand and stuff like that so definitely look out for this one again with me the the mind bending and all this stuff wasn't my forte but coming out watching this I was like wow this definitely opened my eyes to uh, different things so I say once it comes out again if you're watching this now it comes out in a few weeks if you're watching this after October 2nd it's already out so check out housewife like I said you won't be disappointed and you'll definitely your, your eyes and, and stuff with the makeup and stuff will definitely be you know you'll be very surprised so check out housewife again I'll look for the link and everything and post it on the bottom of here and I guess until next time, hopefully you enjoyed my review. Again, it's been a while since I've done anything like this. So hopefully you enjoyed the review. Definitely check that out. Check out all the other stuff from RLJE Films. And yeah, I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.